Hey guys, long time no see, it's me Jason again. Now, I just completed my day one of my six day challenge and I got a question from my member. There goes, Jason, when I'm creating multiple landing pages, should I be creating multiple Facebook pixel that goes along with it and why? So here's my take coming up right after this video. What is the minimum spend that I should be putting aside for Facebook advertising? How do we measure success of a Facebook advertising campaign? How can I constantly reach fresh audience with my Facebook advertising campaign? I've got a few thousand people who like my Facebook page, but when I post anything, why am I reaching so few of my friends? This is where you choose Facebook Ads Objective. Three categories, we have awareness, consideration, and conversion. Now let's walk through each and every one of the ad creation options available. How can we do hyper-location targeting plus ad scheduling? Today we're gonna to talk about the customer journey or so-called the Facebook advertising customer journey that you can build you know, for your audiences. We try to answer at least two to three questions every week. And uh, of course, from time to time, I'll share tips, new findings or new developments when it comes to Facebook advertising. Uh, you keep up on the pace of what's about to come, what are the changes that uh, you should be expecting. Hey, welcome back. It's me again. It's Jason. Well, for those who are new to me, I help businesses navigate success with effective Facebook advertising and digital marketing techniques. Um, I've been actually running a boutique agency since 2010. Over the years, I've helped over 200 brands navigating success with effective Facebook advertising and digital marketing. And uh, since 2016, I've started training. So over the years, we have trained close to 4,000 individuals from all around the world about how to use Facebook advertising effectively for your business. So if you're new to me, remember to hit the subscribe button or you know hit follow or like so that you'll be notified whenever we go live. I share tips, short tips like today, because we just started our six day challenge, which is you know in six days time, I help individuals from all around the world to navigate as in like to start Facebook advertising, right? One lesson a day and you know, after the learning, you go back to do your homework. So today we talk about how to start right. And the topic was really evolving about um, the business manager. Now, one of the questions that has been really asked heavily among our audiences is about Facebook Pixel. Now, a lot of people kind of don't understand Facebook Pixel. Fundamentally, Facebook Pixel is a string of code that you install in your website. And why do we do that? Because we want to start tracking people who visit our website. Fundamentally, when it comes to Facebook advertising, we have to understand one thing, not just Facebook advertising, in fact, for any digital marketing, which is, you know, a lot of people don't buy at the first encounter. A lot of people don't buy at the first visit. So when you are able to gather people, for example, people who have visited your website in the past 30 days, and then you can group these people up and run advertisement to them, chances are you're able to remind them and you are able to convert them better. That's how Facebook Pixel fundamentally is for, and essentially is for your website. Now, the question that we receive inside this six day challenge group is, you know, when you are creating multiple landing pages, should we create multiple pixels? Now, one thing I want to warn you beforehand is that Facebook pixel can never be deleted. So you, if you have created this Facebook pixel, chances are if you create too many Facebook pixel, and then when you go into your, you know, kind of like pixel dashboard, you'll see too many. If you have OCD, you better don't do that. So my opinion is very simple. One pixel for one domain, as in, let's say if you have jasongun.net, for example, which is my website. Now, jasongun.net will have one pixel. Now, if when I create jasongun.net slash 6DC, one landing page, jasongun.net slash Shopee, one landing page, and jasongun.net slash lead generation, that is another landing page. What I'll do is I'll use one pixel across all, and then I will create custom audiences based on people who visit specific pages. So that's the best practice on how you do that. Because eventually, all we want to do here is we want to make sure that we optimize the pixel. When you have too many pixels, eventually each, of, each one of them will have a very short leave kind of like uh, uh, kind of like usage. And you don't want to actually waste, waste too much resources on that. So we come back to one pixel per domain. And then the other question that we get here is, you know, can I link this pixel to multiple ad accounts? The answer is yes. Um, I actually went through in great detail on how to do that inside our six-day challenge. Now, if you are still, if you if you want to join six-day challenge, you can still join because it's got to be six days, right? 
Uh, today is only day one, so you can come in and watch the replay, and tomorrow you can still catch whatever that is coming up. So every day, we have one hour each kind of teaching, and then uh, you're going to go back with the homework, and eventually you can just post back to the group. We are actually, the group now is really growing tremendously, and we have people coming from all around, over the world. You have no idea. It's really exciting. So yeah, if you want to sign up, you can still click the link to sign up, and tomorrow, if I, you know, basically is what I do whenever I run six-day challenge, right? Right after the six-day challenge, I'll pick up one topic and, you know, come out here and share with you guys, yes, you know, to break it into one of the lives. So basically, yeah, remember to hit the subscribe button and like and uh, uh, follow, you know, so that you'll be notified as and when we go live. And uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. And you have any questions, post it into the comment. And I hope to see you in the six-day challenge. See you. Thanks. Bye.